So I just received the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus about 72 hours ago and I want to share with you my experience what it's been like so far as we prep for the full review. That's coming up right now. Let's go. What is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech Help You to Master Your Technology and I've had the Galaxy S8 Plus for about 72 hours now and I want to talk about my experience with it. And let's begin with that Infinity Display. Of course you know right away that is the star of the show here, the Infinity Display. And it has been gorgeous. I mean just using this thing day to day, it's been amazing, very smooth. The curves are just amazing, very curvy. And going around the sides of this guy, the apps just seem to spill off the edge, as you can see right there. So overall, the Infinity Display has been incredible, and it just really feels like something out of the future. So that Infinity Display is not just marketing hype. In the real world, it's pretty amazing. So another thing I've really enjoyed so far about using the Galaxy S8 series of smartphones or the S8 Plus is the feel in hand. So the way they have designed this thing, Samsung has always been pretty good in terms of the ergonomics, in terms of the way the phone feels in your hand, specifically since they started creating the S3. So the Samsung Galaxy S3, I've always thought the curvature in your hand just rests in the palm better than a lot of other smartphones, and that's including the Apple iPhone, which is kind of close, I think, to the S series of smartphones. So feel in hand is definitely a win for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, and something I just want to let you guys know that I've noticed using it in the past 72 hours. Another thing I've really enjoyed about the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus has been its performance. It's not faster than the latest iPhone 7, but it's still a very fast smartphone, and day to day, you're not really going to notice a difference between this and pretty much any other smartphone on the market. Now, I did show in some of my speed tests that multitasking is not quite up to snuff with the iPhone 7 Plus and iPhone 7, but hey, it still gets the job done. I don't see anybody complaining with it. I haven't heard anybody telling me, oh, I just cannot stand my Galaxy S8's performance. It's just, ugh. No, I haven't heard that at all. So it's pretty good in performance, and I think most people are going to be happy and pleased with the level of performance you get out of the Snapdragon 835 and 4 gigs of RAM here for the GS8 or GS8 Plus. Another thing I really enjoyed about the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus has been that camera. It brings the same technology as found in the Samsung Galaxy S7 with its 12 megapixel dual pixel setup here. It's a CMOS sensor and the camera has been great. It shoots very fast pictures. The software has also been pretty easy to use. Reminds you a lot of kind of like what you see on the iPhone mixed with a little bit of LG with the, you know, flipping the camera to the front side really easily. So the camera quality for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus is definitely a win here. So I do have to mention the iris scanning technology for the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus is definitely no gimmick. So you can see that the screen is locked here. I'm going to go ahead and swipe and you can see there's the iris scanner and I'm going to go ahead and go like this. And you can see I am now in the phone. So definitely not a gimmick. Maybe it can be unlocked somehow with a picture. I haven't heard of any stories like that so far, but it seems very secure. I had someone else try it with their eyes. Obviously, it didn't work. So the iris scanning technology is something to, you know, if you want to say, look at my phone, I got this feature. That's definitely one of those phone features right there. But, you know, it's definitely in real world practice. Definitely has been a very good experience overall. So iris scanning technology works well and it's pretty accurate overall in daylight and nighttime. Another thing in my past 72 hours that I really enjoy with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus series of phones is the theme store from Samsung. They included infinity wallpapers and things like that. And it's very nice. The theme store is very nice. You don't have to go ahead and do all that complex customization that you're going to find on launchers like Nova, which takes a little bit more, you know, Android know-how than with the Samsung theme store, which makes it very simple for the average consumer to just go ahead, grab a Samsung Galaxy S8, theme their phone out however they want. So the theme store has definitely been a very enjoyable experience here for the Samsung Galaxy S8. So another thing I really enjoyed in my past 72 hours with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus has been the Edge Panel. Now the Edge Panel is nothing new here. It definitely was found on the S6 Edge, the S6 Edge Plus, the S7 Edge, and now the S8. But the S8 
Apes panel works very well and it's got the nice inclusion of the oval animations, make your own gifts. So for those Note 7 users out there who are, you know, they were upset they had to return their phone, this is definitely nice to see that you can create gifts on this phone as well. So definitely a nice feature there in the Edge panel. Another thing that I really enjoyed about the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus smartphones have been the water resistance, the peace of mind of IP68 returns here for the Galaxy S8 series and it's been very useful and it definitely has got wet a few times here and you can see in this example right here that it definitely can withstand water very easily, it's very well sealed and to see the phone like this with this kind of build quality and this definitely high premium looking smartphone with that water resistance just makes this feel like the total package here with the Samsung Galaxy S8. So that pretty much wraps my experience up with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus 72 hours later. Now I'm going to be releasing the review later this week. I just want to use this phone a little bit longer since this is going to be a big time hit this year with the Galaxy S8 series. I want to make sure that I give you a full in-depth review as well as a short review. So two reviews will be coming to the channel later this month. The full in-depth review will be here but the shorter review will be here later this week. So stay tuned for that. Let me know your thoughts on the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Do you have one? Are you going to pick one up? What do you think about it? This was my thoughts. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next one and peace.